Hi friends, Krista here. Thanks for stopping by Books and Jams. Today I'm going to be sharing with you one of my most anticipated videos of the whole year. I can't wait! <laughs> For the last couple years, I have joined in a Christmas book exchange with my friends Sarah from Sarah's Nightstand and Lindsay from Lindsay's Little Library. And this year we invited Amanda from The Curly Reader to join us. And today is the day we are going to start sharing our gifts with you. So each of us mailed the other three people eight books so that we have 24 books. So over the next four weeks, each Friday, we will be unwrapping some of the gifts that we've received from each other. So I have a stack here from Amanda that you can see sitting on my table here. I also have a, a, a cup of water because your girl's throat is still not better yet. It's getting there, but talking a lot means that I'm probably going to need to drink a little bit. I have a bag here of gifts from Sarah, of books in there. And then if you watched my vlog from yesterday, you will know that Lindsay's books got lost in the mail. <laughs> we have been eagerly tracking the package for the last couple of weeks. She mailed it quite a while ago and it has been stalled out. And then I received a package that was clearly not a box of books, even though the label on it said media mail, even though it was in Lindsay's handwriting. Somebody had ripped the package label off of her box, stuck it on another package and sent that to me, which was not something that I ordered. So Lindsay, out of the kindness of her heart, has been sending me Amazon packages. And I'm not sure, I have three here, and I'm honestly not sure if they're things that I ordered, <laughs> which is possible because it's Christmas time, or things that she sent me, I'm pretty sure this one sounds like books, so I'm going to start with that one. Um, but what we're going to do each week is we're going to open two books from each of the other three people and share them with you. Each of them also sent some bonus materials, so I will share those as well. But I'm just so excited to get started. So today I'm going to be opening numbers one and two from Amanda, one and two from Sarah, and hopefully this is two books from Lindsay. It sounds like books, so I'm pretty sure it is. But I'm going to start with the bonus because why not? So from Sarah, I have this little bag that is not a book. Oh, there's two things in here. Oh, how cute. A little candle that says bookshop dweller. Yes, sandalwood, vanilla, and violet. I can't read. Oh, that's lovely. I love the sandalwood that's in there. It makes it a little less like vanilla and violet could be ultra floral and sweet and it does have that but the but the sandalwood makes it smell really nice love that that might have to be a reading time burn and then also here we have oh i'm so excited about this holy moly this is an ornament that says virginia Monticello, Richmond, Shenandoah Valley, Old Dominion, Mother of Presidents, Jamestown. That is so cool. That will go right on my tree. Thank you, Sarah. Isn't that beautiful? I love it. I love it. That's so pretty. Can I balance that up here so you can enjoy it till I take a drink? And let's, while I'm doing Sarah's, let's find her book number one and two. Oh, here's one and here's two. Perfect. The rest are going to stay in the bags. So I have books one and two here from Sarah. I'll just do hers. Then I'll open Amanda's and then I'll do the box and hope it's from Lindsay. So the first one, number one from Sarah says, you have loved this author's books before. And I love that they make these little tags because I can rip that off and use this as a bookmark. So let's see what this author is that I have loved before. There are Lots of options for that. Oh, how cool. Christina Baker Klein, A Piece of the World. This is an author that I've loved before. I actually just read Exiles by her recently. That was her most recent release. And I, she's the author of The Orphan Train, which is so good. That was my first one. And I think I have Bird in Hand by her up on my shelves as well. Yay. 
another Christina Baker Klein book. Christina lives in Maine. She's the only daughter in a family of sons. She's tied to her home by health and circumstance and seems destined for a small life. Instead, she becomes Andrew Wyeth's first great inspiration and the subject of one of the best known paintings of the 20th century, Christina's World. So this is going to have fact and fiction kind of woven together and it's going to tell the story of this woman behind a portrait. So that's kind of cool. So art is going to be involved as well. Fabulous. That's a perfect fit. I have loved her before a couple times. <laughs> Yay. Thank you, Sarah. And then number two says the importance of books in other countries. I agree. Books are important everywhere. I'm going to have to fix that later, but this is cute wrapping paper too. Ho, 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 mustaches. Let's see the importance of books in other countries. Oh, the bookseller of Kab Kabul this takes place in Afghanistan, which is going to be so interesting. I have loved reading um, Khalid Hus Husseini's books, which are set in Afghanistan and just learning about that country a little bit. This would be a great pairing to go with those. This mesmerizing portrait of a proud man who through three decades and successive repressive regimes heroically braved persecution to bring books to the people of Kabul has elicited an extraordinary praise throughout the world and become a phenomenal international bestseller. This looks like it's going to be very interesting. And this is by Asna Seerstad. Yeah, very cool. I, that sounds very interesting to me. Yes, Sarah, thank you so much for both of these. You know my taste really well. <laughs> All right, Amanda, let's do her too. Oh, let's do the little bonus here in this cute little Joy stocking, which I love because my middle name is Joy. So I love things that have joy. Yay, very cute. First off, we have, oh, a sticker that says bibliophile. That is going to go on my, on my mug thing, cup. That's going to go on my cup. Love it. Oh, cute. Little book darts. Have you guys used book darts before? I know Amanda loves them. Can I get this open? Does it twist? It twists. They are little tiny, like arrows. Can you see that? <laughs> that are just a little, you just slide it on the edge of your page and it doesn't leave indents. You can mark right where quotes are or pages that you want to remember and it doesn't stick out like a like a tab would. It just is in there. This is great. I will use the heck out of those. And it spins, not pulls. <laughs> Yay for some book darts and a fun sticker. There's one more thing in here. Dun, 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 dun. Oh, a cute little candle. Oh my word, it's the same company as Sarah's. From the page is the company. And this one is called A Day with Mr. Darcy. <laughs> yes, please. Oh, that smells good. This is Wild Honeysuckle Meadow and Orange. That smells good too. It's this beautiful teal kind of color. Love it. You guys know I love a good candle. Thank you, ladies. You guys are on the same wavelength here. Very nice. Ooh, I love opening gifts. <laughs> okay, number one from Amanda says, I can't get you dot, dot, dot. I can't get you. Let me pull that off can't get you. It's a paperback. This is cute wrapping paper too. I can't get you. Oh man, this paper is thick. Oh, I can't get you out of my mind. Oh, by Sharon Draper. I have read other books by Sharon Draper and people have said that this one is just so good. 11 year old Melody has a photographic memory. Her head is like a video camera. It's always recording, always. And there's no delete button. She's the smartest kid in her whole school, but no one knows it. Most people, her teachers, her doctors included, don't think she's capable of learning at all. And up until recently, her school days consisted of listening to the same preschool level alphabet lessons again and again and again. If only she could speak up. If only she could tell people what she thinks and knows. But she can't because Melody can't talk. She can't walk. She can't write. Being stuck inside her head is making Melody go out of her mind. That is until she discovers something that will allow her to speak for the first time ever. At last, Melody has a voice, but not everyone around her is ready to hear it. Oh, 
That sounds so good. And I've heard that it's very good. I'm really excited. I did not own this one, obviously. I mean, we, we do share our Goodreads and stuff with each other. Thank you, Amanda. So exciting. And book two says, A Bookish Scavenger Hunt, What's Not to Love? Mm -hmm. A Bookish Scavenger Hunt. I'll do it. Let's do it. Let's do a Bookish Scavenger Hunt. Games and books combined. It's like my dream. This is a lot of wrapping paper. I went all the way around. Here we go. Ooh, The Bookshop of Yesterdays by Amy Meyerson. I think Amanda just read this this year. I think it's about a young girl. A woman inherits a beloved bookstore and sets forth on a journey of self-discovery in this poignant debut about family forgiveness and a love of reading. Done. That sounds so good. Miranda grew up in the stacks of her eccentric Uncle Billy's bookstore, solving the inventive scavenger hunts he created just for her. On her 12th birthday, Billy has a mysterious falling out with her mother and suddenly disappears from Miranda's life. She doesn't hear from him again until 16 years later when she receives unexpected news. Billy has died and left her Prospero Books, which is teetering on bankruptcy and one final scavenger hunt. So she has to go back home to the bookstore that's left in her name and figure out what happened to Uncle Billy. That sounds really good. Uh, I love a book about books. I love a book with games, scavenger hunt, and the whole like family and grief and the mystery of what happened to her uncle. That sounds fantastic as well. Amanda, you did good. Yay! Books one and two done. All right, it's time for me to take a drink. Okay, I just opened it, but I didn't look inside. I'm going to have to reach in carefully because if there are more than two, I can only look at two of them. So I'm going to like just kind of do this since I'm not wrapping. You guys can see I'm being honest here. Close it back up. Okay, book one from Lindsay is... <gasps> yes! I'm so excited. This has been on my Amazon wish list for quite a while. Coal River by Ellen Marie Wiseman. Ellen Marie Wiseman has written uh, The Life She Was Given, I read from her, and I read The Orphan Collector, which is her most recent book, and this is one of her backlist titles. Look at that cover. Oh, I just want to give that boy a hug. Uh, this is a historical novel. As a child, Emma Malloy left isolated Coal River, Pennsylvania, vowing never to return. Now orphaned and penniless at 19, she accepts a train ticket from her aunt and uncle and travels back to the rough-hewn community. Treated like a servant by her relatives, Emma works for free in the company store. There, miners and their impoverished families must pay inflated prices for food, clothing, and tools, while those who owe money are turned away to starve. Most heartrending of all are the breaker boys Emma sees around the village, young children who toil all day sorting coal amid treacherous machinery. Their soot-stained faces remind Emma of the little brother that she lost long ago, and she begins leaving stolen food food on family's doorsteps and marking the miners' bills as paid. Although her actions draw ire from the mine owner and police captain, they lead to an alliance with a charismatic miner who offers to help her expose the truth. And as the lines blur between what is legal and what is just, Emma must risk everything to follow her conscience. Oh, that sounds so good. A little firecracker of Emma doing, working social justice, like taking care of the kids and the families who don't have enough in this coal town. I just feel like this is going to be so good. Lindsay, thank you. Okay, I know, I think there's more than one left in here. Yeah, there are a couple. So I'm just going to reach in and grab one. Okay. <laughs> what? <laughs> the schwa was here. This is funny. Neil Schusterman. What on earth? I've never heard of this book before. The schwa was here. Winner of the Boston Globe Horn Book Award. An Ancy Bonanno novel. <laughs> Have you guys heard of this before? The schwa was here. The schwa. They say if you stare at him long enough, you can see what's written on the wall behind him. They say a lot of things about the schwa, but one thing's for sure, no one ever noticed him, except me. My name's Ansi Bonanno. Bonanno? 
And I can tell you what's true and what's not because I was there. I was the one who realized the schwa was functionally invisible and used it to make some big bucks. But I was also the one who caused him more grief than a friend should. So if you just shut up and listen, I'll spill everything. Unless, of course, the schwa effect wipes him out of my brain before I'm done. What? This is so interesting. It's This is the kind of offbeat story that I love best. This does sound pretty funny. I think it's a middle grade. Yeah, I'm pretty sure this is a middle grade. I've never even heard of it, which is so fun. I love getting books that I've never heard of before. So yay, here are, I'm not even gonna look. I'm gonna be honest, you guys. I'm not gonna look at the rest of those until next time. But here are the six books for today. Lindsay gave me The Schwa Was Here and Coal River. Amanda gave me Out of My Mind and The Bookshop of Yesterdays. And Sarah gave me A Piece of the World and the bookseller of Kabul. I'm so excited. They did so well. These girls know me very well. And I'm very excited for you to go check out their three channels today as well to see what books I gifted them. I had so much fun scouring shelves at thrift stores and little free libraries and book outlet and all kinds of places to get books that I know that they're gonna love. So please check out their channels today. I will link all three of them down below. And come back next Friday for, I mean, come back tomorrow because I'm doing Vlogmas. I'll be here every day. But come back next Friday for sure to see six more books that I'm going to open from these ladies. I am so excited to share that with you. Happy Vlogmas. Thank you for hanging out with me. Let me know if you've read any of these or heard of them. Don't forget to check out the other girls. Thank you so much for watching and I'll talk to you tomorrow. Bye.